Good morning, church. It's Drew here with your daily devotion for Monday, September 21st. Our text is from Exodus chapter 17, verses 1 through 7. This is the text we had in worship yesterday. Yesterday, we did continue in our preaching series called Relearning Balance, Sabbath in the Age of Always Tired. Reverend Zach Fisher preached a fine sermon from this Exodus text about the thirsty Hebrew people. Zach made several important connections for us. Sabbath as trust in God's provision. Sabbath as we are not God and don't have to be God. Sabbath as struggle to trust God and stop wanting to go back to Egypt. And then finally, remembering the practice of Sabbath as antidote for anxiety, even in our 21st century life. I was challenged by something Zach said. He said, Sabbath helps us remember that God brings water from the hard places of life. I wrote that in my Bible so I could think about it. In the Exodus story, the Hebrew people were so thirsty, wanting to go back to what they knew, oppression and slavery, but at least they had water to drink. They were furiously angry with their leader, Moses. They were desperate for something to drink, just something to drink, and they were already tired and they had just started. God sent them to the face of a rock, a dry, barren place, the most unlikely place to find relief from thirst. Moses struck that rock and water flowed the beautiful provision of God for their hard journey. The Sabbath is about intentionally setting aside one day out of seven to remember the provision and love of God, to remember that we are not God and that we really shouldn't try to be God. How much more full and rich is life when we take the time to work in this direction? What we find is water from the hard places of life. Jesus tells us that it wells up from within us streams of living water. Let's pray for each other today and every day this week. Let's pray that our steps toward true Sabbath would help us encounter the beautiful provision of God for the hard journey of life. God knows that we need it, and God has promised to provide it. I love you very much, folks. Hope you have a great day. I believe next Monday uh, I'll be posting pictures of a new baby uh, for you to see. So be on the lookout for that. Talk to you soon.